In this video I'll explain how to add a common main title to multiple plots using the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. So in this video I will show you two examples and both of these examples are based on the data frame that we can create with lines 2 to 3 of the code. So if you run these lines of code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new data frame object is appearing, which is called data. And if you click on this data object, a new window is opened, which is showing the structure of our data frame. And as you can see, our data contains six rows and two columns, which are called X1 and X2. Now, if we want to draw these data in multiple plots in a grid of plots, then we have to specify the par function, as you can see in line five of the code. So if you run this line of code, the plotting options in our studio are updated. And in this case, we are specifying that we want to draw a grid of plots with two rows and two columns. And then in lines six to nine of the code, I'm creating four plots with the basic installation of our programming. So if you run line six of the code, first plot is created at the bottom right. Then in line seven, another plot is created. In line eight, a histogram is created. And in line nine, a bar plot is created. So as you can see at this point, we have created a grid layout with four different plots, but we have not added a main title to these plots yet. And we can do that using the mText function, as you can see in lines 10 to 13. And within the mText function, I'm specifying the title that I want to use. So in this case, I want to use the plot title, my multiplot title. Then I'm specifying the side of our grid of plots on which I want to draw the title. So in this case, I'm specifying side to be equal to three, which corresponds to the top of our grid of plots. Then I'm adjusting the position of our plot title and I'm also specifying the outer argument to be equal to true. So if you run lines 10 to 13 of the code, you can see that our plot is updated because now a plot title which describes all of the plots in our grid of plots has been added to our plot layout. So in this first example, I have explained how to add a multi-plot title to a grid of base R plots. However, I also want to show you an example in which I'm creating a ggplot2 plot grid layout in which I'm adding a plot title for all of these plots. So if you want to draw our data using the ggplot2 package, we also need to install and load the ggplot2 package as you can see in lines 15 and 16 of the code. I have installed the package already, so for that reason I'm just going to load it with line 16 of the code. And after running this line of code, we are able to use the functions of the ggplot2 package to create ggplot2 plots. And we do that, as you can see, in lines 18 to 25. So in these lines of code, I am creating four different plot objects using the functions of the ggplot2 package. So after running these lines of code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that we have created four different plot objects, which are called ggp1, 2, 3, and 4. Now, if you want to draw all of these plots in a grid of plots, then we can apply the functions of the patchwork package. And in order to apply the patchwork syntax, we also need to install and load the patchwork package, as you can see in lines 27 and 28. I have installed this package as well, so for that reason I'm just going to load it with line 28. And after running this line of code, we are able to use the patchwork code that is provided by this package. So in the next step, we can draw our grid of ggplot2 plots with a multiplot title. And we can do that, as you can see, in lines 30 to 32 of the code. So in these lines of code, I'm first specifying the way how our grid should be arranged. And then I'm using the plot annotation function to add a main title to all of our plots. And then I'm also using the theme function to adjust the positioning of our plot title. So if you run lines 30 to 32 of the code, 
you can see that a new lot object is appearing at the top right, which is called ggp all. And we can draw this grid of plots by running line 33 of the code. So after running this line of code, you can see at the bottom right that we have created a grid of ggplot2 plots. And on top of this grid, you can see a multiplot title. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.